Writers use various techniques to express their opinions in their writing. Let's practice developing reasons to support our opinions by drawing conclusions from facts and details. Please have your Lanzillian practice sheet in front of you because you will need it during this lesson. Let's review. When writing, how do writers support their opinions to show readers that their point of view is valid or logical? Writers show readers their opinion is logical by giving reasons, which are statements that explain why you think something. Writers sometimes use facts and details as examples and explanations as a part of their reasons. For example, in the sentences, Alex's birthday party was the best party ever. We played basketball on trampolines and we painted colorful masks. These games were so fun. Alex's birthday party was the best party ever is the opinion because it shows what someone believes about the birthday party. And we played basketball on trampolines and we painted colorful masks. These games were so fun are sentences that give examples and an explanation which helps explain to the reader why the author thinks the birthday party was fun. Now we need to ask ourselves, how do writers make their reasons stronger so that the readers will see their opinion is valid? Writers make their reasons stronger and clearer by drawing conclusions from their facts and details. Drawing conclusions means to ask yourself, what do these facts or details mean in relation to my opinion? Or in other words, how do these facts support my opinion? Without drawing a conclusion, it's not clear to our reader how our opinion and reason are linked. By drawing conclusions, we clearly connect our opinion with our reason to make our argument stronger. In order to connect our facts or details with the conclusions that we come to, we can use transition words like therefore, consequently, this means, or for these reasons. These transition words work nicely for drawing conclusions because they show that one idea is connected to another. Let's take a look at how I can make my reason more clear by drawing a conclusion from some facts or details using our example from before. Remember, to draw conclusions, I need to ask myself, what do these facts or details mean in relation to my opinion? Or in other words, how do these facts support my opinion? Well, these facts mean that we did a lot of interesting activities, and that is why it was a really fun birthday party. So using one of my transition words, I can write a sentence that draws this conclusion from my facts. Therefore, Alex's birthday party was so much fun because we did all kinds of interesting activities. Now my reason sounds clearer and stronger because I drew a conclusion from my facts and details. Now that you know that writers draw conclusions from facts and details by asking themselves, what do these facts or details mean in relation to my opinion? Use a transition word from the box to write a sentence that draws a conclusion from the facts and details. Pause the video while you do this, then press play when you are ready to continue. Great job! To make the reason clearer and stronger, I thought about what my facts or details mean in relation to my opinion. If kids can go swimming at the pool or beach, then that means kids can go to fun places. So using one of my transition words, I wrote, this means summer is the best season because kids can go to fun places. Here's a draft of an opinion piece that I've been working on. Has anyone ever told you to keep your elbows off the table or to take off your shoes when you enter someone's house? Even though it may seem silly at times, practicing good manners has many benefits. One example of polite behavior is to say good morning to people when you first see them at school. This shows people that you notice them and that you care about them. Another example of good manners is taking turns when you're working in a group. This helps make sure that everyone's ideas are heard. If everyone's ideas are heard, it keeps people in the group from getting upset. Removing your shoes before going into someone's house is another example of polite behavior. By taking off your shoes, you won't track leaves or other dirt onto the floor. Also, if you wash your hands before you eat, you will keep germs from getting on your food. In conclusion, good manners make other people feel good, help people work together nicely in groups, and help people keep their homes clean. These are some of the benefits of practicing good manners. As I was reading, I noticed that there are a lot of facts and details about good manners and some explanations of the facts and details. But it's not clear how those examples show that using good manners has benefits. I think this is because I didn't make my reasons stronger by drawing conclusions from my facts and details. To begin, it's important that I know what the opinion that I'm trying to support is. Remember, 
An opinion is a personal feeling, belief, or attitude. Let's take a look at my first paragraph to figure out what my opinion is. On your practice sheet, underline the sentence from the first paragraph that tells the opinion in my writing. Pause the video while you do this, then press play when you are ready to continue. Nice job! The sentence, even though it may seem silly at times, practicing good manners has many benefits, tells my opinion because it shows what I believe about practicing good manners. Now let's look at my second paragraph. In this paragraph, I notice that I already have an example that is a detail about good manners and an explanation of that detail. But this paragraph still doesn't connect directly to my opinion that using good manners has benefits. So I think I need to draw a conclusion from this detail to make my reason stronger. To draw a conclusion, I can ask myself, what do these facts or details mean in relation to my opinion? Well, if saying good morning makes people feel like you care about them, then one benefit of good manners is that they make people feel good because it shows you care about them and respect them. So I can use a transition word from my box to write a sentence that draws a conclusion which makes my reason stronger. Now my paragraph supporting my opinion connects directly to what I think and it sounds much stronger because I drew a conclusion from my facts and details. Let's look at my next paragraph. Again, I notice that this paragraph doesn't connect directly to my opinion that using good manners has benefits. So I think I need to draw a conclusion from this detail to make my reason stronger. Well, in this example, good manners keep people from getting upset in a group. This must mean that good manners help people work nicely together in groups. Using a transition word, write a sentence that draws a conclusion and connects directly to my opinion. Pause the video while you do this, then press play when you are ready to continue. I'm sure you wrote a great sentence. Let me show you what I wrote. Now this paragraph supporting my opinion connects directly to what I think and it sounds much stronger because I drew a conclusion from my facts and details. Let's look at my last paragraph. This paragraph also doesn't connect directly to my opinion or draw a conclusion from this detail. On your practice sheet, use a transition word to write a sentence that draws a conclusion and connects directly to my opinion. Pause the video while you do this, then press play when you are ready to continue. I'm sure you did a great job. Let me show you what I wrote. I was thinking that these details mean that good manners can keep homes and other places clean. Now my opinion and this reason are directly connected by drawing a conclusion. Here is my revised draft. Has anyone ever told you to keep your elbows off the table or to take off your shoes when you enter someone's house? Even though it may seem silly at times, practicing good manners has many benefits. One example of polite behavior is to say good morning to people when you first see them at school. This shows people that you notice them and that you care about them. Therefore, one benefit of using good manners is that polite behavior makes other people feel good because it shows them that you respect them and care about them. Another example of good manners is taking turns when you are working in a group. This helps make sure that everyone's ideas are heard. If everyone's ideas are heard, it keeps people in the group from getting upset. Consequently, another benefit of good manners is that they help people work nicely together in groups. Removing your shoes before going into someone's house is another example of polite behavior. By taking off your shoes, you won't track leaves or other dirt onto the floor. Also, if you wash your hands before you eat, you will keep germs from getting on your food. For these reasons, good manners can help people keep their homes and other places clean. In conclusion, good manners make other people feel good help people work together nicely in groups, and help people keep their homes clean. These are some of the benefits of practicing good manners. Wow, now the paragraphs supporting my opinion sound much stronger because I drew conclusions from the facts and details that I used, and because those conclusions connect directly back to my opinion. Now it's your turn. Read this draft and revise it using what you learned in this lesson. Pause the video while you do this, then press play when you are ready to continue. Edit your writing. Draw conclusions from facts and details to develop your reasons. Ensure that your reasons support your opinion by including facts and details. 
This will make your writing stronger and clearer.